Hi guys, I am doing my hair today. Um, I know if you've been following me on Instagram, I do, I've been doing a lot of stuff for my hair, which is just sort of nourishing it. I have been putting on a lot of oils, a lot of masks, and I thought I'd take you through my oiling of my hair with you guys. So I've got a little bit of coconut oil in this little, um, bowl because it's winter it's frozen so it's sort of like a paste but normally it's not it's like you know like an oil um i sometimes add stuff to this so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding this almond oil and this almond hair oil i actually got it from an indian store um i'm not there's an indian that you could probably get it to at any indian store it smells really nice it smells really really nice this is um i think this is a leave-in hair oil as well so if you've just washed your hair and your hair is feeling really dry you can just take a few drops of these and just press it into your hair and your hair will smell lovely and it's not heavy it's not um very oil like not oily in the sense that you know it just sticks to your hair so this is really quite nice so i'm just going to put a few drops of this in here I'm actually going to do my hair and leave it, leave this oil in there for um, for about half a day, more than half a day because I'm going to um, have a shower tonight. Um, another hair oil that I'm going to put in is my Moroccan oil. So this is a treatment oil. This is quite thick. So if I normally would put it into my hair without washing it out i am quite careful with how i put it into my hair because it does get oh, why is that working i think i keep locking it up oh yeah there you go so i'm just gonna put some of that just mix it together just so they can get all the nourishment from all the oils into my hair And I'm just going to plait my hair up and that is going to be me for the day. I'm just going to brush my hair out because I think there's a few knots. Um, since I've started plaiting my hair, I've also realized that I don't get as many tangles in my hair. Oh, there's some in there. Um, tangles in my hair. Um, that's because, oh my god. Except for that bit. <laughs> So generally my hair is quite nice and not as tangled once I've started um, plaiting my hair to bed because it doesn't really move around. Cool. So I'm going to start with putting this in more in the roots because that's where I think it should go. I'm just going to... I think it's really gross in the beginning <laughs> to put oil into your hair, especially when um, the coconut oil hasn't really warmed up. You can put it in the microwave and just heat it up. Good morning, guys. I am just going to do my makeup, which is probably after weeks of staying at home um i thought i'd try out the foundation that i was talking to you guys about last week and also show you guys my hair so i ended up sleeping in with the oil in my hair and this morning i woke up really early just to wash it um and show you guys what you know it looks like so if you can see my hair is really hydrated i don't know if you guys can see over here my hair's probably never been like this um i did take the liberty of straightening it which is probably not that much over the last few weeks that we've been at home whereas I would probably be straightening it every day if we weren't in lockdown so my hair is definitely feeling a lot better at the moment with reduced heat um I did use a heat protectant protectant when I 
blow dried and straightened my hair. I used some um, serums for my um, roots and uh, oils for my ends just now just to sort of tame it down. Um, my hair I after using like coconut oil over I think I've, I've used it four times now and it's really I can see the difference in my hair it feels a lot softer more hydrated um, you know it's there's less flyaways and frizzes which is really nice so I was gonna apply my makeup which is using this Jane Adele foundation and this is in the this is in the shade M9. I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is in the shade M9. I bought this because this is this was sold at my beautician's um, clinic, which is where I just thought that you know obviously something sold there is good for people with acne skin because they have definitely done their research. Um, I didn't really like the way it was. It sat on my face, um, but this was when I was really breaking out. So, sorry. Um, this was when I was really, really breaking out, and I think maybe it could have been because, and maybe it could have been because of the fact that I was breaking out. There was, you know, a lot of sebum and oil on my face. So now that I'm not breaking out, I have gotten rid of. All the acne breakouts I thought maybe I'll give this a go again and see if it sits on my face better so I'm just gonna use a flat foundation brush I'm just going to pat it on foundation on you can see that it's quite um it is a little bit oily but what i do like about it even though it's oily it's not very heavy it's it's lightweight it feels like i've got pretty much nothing on my face which is nice um i think maybe if you have really dark dry skin sort of texture maybe give this a go this is probably quite a nice it might be quite hydrating for your face um it is a little bit oily for my liking right now but I'll, I'd love to give it a go for the whole day and see what it looks like. Um, to finish my face off I'm just going to do some contouring. My contouring I'm using the L'Oreal concealer in um, shade 338 and honey and I'm just going to pop it on yeah. I'm going to be using is the Morphe 2 cheek and lip color and this is in rosy rosy wishes and I'm just going to pop it <laughs> And for under eye concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. <music> to blend out my blush and bronzer a little bit at the top, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just on top of here to finish it off I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown bronzer just to the powder bronzer just to put a little bit more depth into my cheeks and then some on my forehead 
it feels so nice to have makeup on after such a long time it is also so grim out there it is pouring i've got so many lights on just so that i could i can do this in my dressing room i'm just going to brush it out I've been growing my eyebrows as well. I don't get them threaded as much. I just get them on a bar removed. And that's it. Because I really want a fluffy... Really want fluffy eyebrows. I'm just going to use this um, Maybelline, Maybelline Brofar Sculpt on my eyebrows. I'm going to brush it upwards. I am using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It's a really really light mascara I don't I don't normally use a lot of lengthening or volumizing mascaras because I just feel like they clump up on my lashes and this is a really nice one it's it's lengthening but it's not very it's not very clumpy which is really nice Done. my lashes are done and then for lips this is just a honestly this is what I always do which is using this MAC lip pencil and saw so I've just filled my lips in with that and then I'm just going to pop a lip balm on top of that which is the Pure Envy from Estee Lauder. Let's to give it some hydration. I might put some color on my eyelids actually. So I'm just going to take my bronzer and let you put that on the ends of my eyelids. And that's it that's a really quick I know it's a little bit yellow because of all the lights that I've got on but it's a really quick easy my probably my daily routine makeup if I was wearing makeup I probably maybe wouldn't wear a foundation if I was doing work like makeup for work but I think I do want to sort of find a foundation that if I do want to wear to work it works 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 <laughs> hopefully this is a nice foundation I think the finish is quite nice um you could put powder on it just to get rid of the shine I'm not going to do it I just want to really see what this foundation does without adding powder on it because I don't really like too much on my face um I do like the way that's finished um the way it's worked with my um, bronzer and my um, blush so it is quite a lovely natural finish with this foundation it's not too cakey so I think if it works if it doesn't oxidize if I don't get oily skin by the end of the day I'll be really really happy with this I wanted to do a little check-in of the foundation actually today so I've been wearing it for four hours now um, I should I'm a little bit funny about this foundation right now it is oily I feel like but I don't know if that's just the glow <laughs> or that is actually the foundation um, it is sort of kind of if you can see it 
it's a bit patchy. I don't know if you can see it a little bit on this light, but it's not very, um, especially on my forehead, I feel like it's just a bit blotchy around some areas of my skin, which, um, of my face, which I don't really like. Um, it doesn't feel oily though, and I think that's, that's where I'm a little bit confused, is that there's a lot of foundations out there that feel start feeling oily when you feel when skin gets oily and um yeah but this one doesn't feel oily it just looks oily whenever i look at myself which um is like i said really confusing um i don't know i don't know i feel like i look darker as well but i don't i can't tell um it just might be the glow <laughs> Because I did put a lot of sort of like hydrating products at the bottom, um, you know, my normal, yeah, serums and oils and stuff. So that could be another reason. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation on me um, and if you've used it. I know I don't think a lot of people have used this, but yeah, let me know. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing for my um, my jumper. This is the jumper that I grabbed from Sterling Woman. It is honestly so gorgeous. It is, um, I got a size large because I really wanted to get that very oversized fit. Um, it's just a really comfortable fit, especially because I'm going to be wearing it home and just pairing it with stuff like this, like tights. Um, in the morning, I was wearing warm pants, but those warm pants were really, really itchy, so I took them off. Um, I'm just, I've just paired it with my Amen tights and my warm shoes. So it's really, it's as you can see outside, it's quite bright now, which is really nice because in the morning it was just grim it was horrible horrible weather and the cats are sleeping over here because it's nice and warm they get all the sun um and the heat and they just love sleeping here look at luna she's like she is in heaven oh hello luna baby hello baby why are you sleeping in the curtain She's not allowed to do that, but she will just go, no, oh my god, whoa, whoa. It's like giving us a show. And this is Leo, he's always just knocked out. <laughs> um, I actually went and popped on some jewellery. I need to see how to work this camera. There we go. So I popped on some jewellery, some earrings, some necklace. Just to feel good today, I think I feel a little bit more alive. Funny how like putting on jewelry and makeup can do that to you. Um, I still need to do my bed, so maybe I'm going to do that now. going to end the vlog here i hope you guys really enjoyed my hair tips hair oiling is definitely something that's been in um a lot of indian families backgrounds and a lot of us girls have grown up with oil, um, oiling our hair so i hope you really enjoyed it um i'm going to try and pop this up this week so that's going to be two vlogs in one week which is yay from me who somebody who hasn't even probably i actually was going through my memory card and i realized that i haven't even put up the second part of the vlog for my Coromandel trip, my Queenstown trip. So all of these vlogs are sitting on my memory card that I haven't even done. Um, so hopefully maybe one day I can pop them up. But um, I'm going to try and pop this up and have it up and then do some more recording this week for something next for you guys next week. Um, let me know what you guys want to know about coming forward um leave a comment or if you're on instagram then send me a dm and i can talk to you guys on there